So this is an area where um, I think A16Z's operational teams model is, is uh, pretty unique and, and really shines. One of our many um, operations teams is a bio-focused go-to-market team. And they do a lot of different things, but a, a large part of their job is to support our portfolio companies and strategic partnering. This team spends their day, you know, day in and day out throughout the year meeting with and building relationships with pharma business development and strategy teams, with therapeutic area heads, with the CEOs and CBOs of biotech companies. And through those relationships, we have a pulse on not only what each company is looking for in terms of partnering, but also who the relevant people would be to get on board as champions uh, to move a deal across the finish line. So through these relationships and the information learned um, through these regular touch bases that we have with this broad network, we're able to not only guide our portfolio companies through targeted partnering processes, but also bring them inbound interest, even if they're not actively looking to partner. We also spend a lot of time helping our companies think through deal terms and deal structures, share knowledge on metrics such as deal comps to assist them in, in decision-making. And I think, you know, as, as Seth and I have discussed, that's a place where I think having done it yourself and having um, experienced uh, the ins and outs and pains and joys of multiple different types of deals can be really helpful in guiding your portfolio companies through that process. Yeah, he, that's a great set of things that Andreessen provides. And here at eight, you know, I, our model is slightly different. Many of our investment team members are themselves either former founders or active founders. We do a number of company incubations at HVC. And so we actually have the opportunity and time to continue to work as founders and continue to see things from all sides of the realm. And so when it comes to partnering with and supporting other founders and entrepreneurs, which is the majority of things that we do, I think it provides us a, a uniquely capable skill set where we can plug in people as needed to fill gaps, right? If you need an interim CBO uh, for a couple of months to help you with a deal or a deal process, we can plug somebody in for you. If you need someone on an operations side, for example, we can plug someone in there. And those people are relevant. They're up to date on the latest information and comps and how startups operate, who's got lab space in a particular city that might be available, primarily because they just did it several months ago for a different portfolio company. And it's that active founder mindset that I think enables us to really support companies because it is something different to be at a startup and the mindset and what needs to be done is different than things at a large pharma. And you know, I, I have that change in my career where I was full-time at a startup and now I'm in fact interim CBO at one company. And that capability set really enables us to support entrepreneurs because there's, I think nothing more comforting than saying, hey, you know, I need help on X, I need help hiring someone, or I need help in HR, I need help on this deal. And not only can we be coaches, which happy to do and, and really thrilled to help, but we can at times get on the field with our companies and say, look, you need this for three months. It might take you six months to recruit a person for that position. We can just insert someone for three months free of charge and keep going with that. 